Okay, so I just got this package of like boost XP sports or something. It's it's like something with like, you know, energy drink like sneak or G fuel or something. So let's just let's get this bad boy open real quick. So this flavor is sour lime pucker face. I've not had this one yet. I had one yesterday that tasted like the new shoe smell. It was candy rainbow, but it tasted like a new shoe smell. So hopefully this one's a little better. Again, haven't tried this. Do they all taste like new shoe smell or? Smells fine. Smells, smells not a problem. Does the can make it taste bad? It has to be the can. I think it's XP Sports. I think that's the brand, XP Sports. If you're watching this, flavor wise, not bad for the sour lime pucker face. I would recommend a different can because like I said, it's like a new shoe smell, but taste, new shoe taste, I don't, what is going on guys it is dmg here and today we are doing a review over the norwich city boys who have been promoted back into the premier league specifically they've actually won the efl championship and they've gotten four team of the seasons because of it they've gotten this emmy buendia card they've gotten timo puki max aarons and Tim Cruel. Now all of these cards do have something good, but a lot of them also have something that's maybe not so great. So Buendia has a fantastic all-around card, four star, four star, but for some reason his stamina is only 82, which is less than his storyline card. So that's just, I feel like classic EA. Puki has some very good stats, right? Obviously very good attack positioning, finishing, just very good physical, decent amount of pace. He also has the finesse shot with only 69 curve. Don't know how that's possible. Possible. However, because we all know how the FIFA meta works, most likely this guy's not going to be that great in game, especially because he also only has three star, three star. Max Aaron's is very good. However, you probably could get a few other right backs for around the same price, or maybe that's just better strength wise, physical wise, maybe shooting and passing wise. And then Tim Cruel is just not really that great of a goalie. But nevertheless, we still have all of these players in here. We're going to see if these Norwich City boys can get us. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and see if these boys can get us some points and wins back in Division 1 Rivals. Now, if you are new, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you also leave some comments about what players you want me to review, what videos you want me to do, you can also send me some ideas on Twitter, which is in the description down below. But, enough of that, let's get into the video with our Norwich City boys. Mbappe, M Mendy Varane, Mendy Varane. I don't care how good he's gonna, you know what he's gonna do? I can already tell what he's gonna do. Skill move canceling, La Croqueta canceling, maybe five at the back, maybe uh, maybe a little bit of a drop back, skill move spamming, nutmeg bridge, all that, all that great stuff. Pookie, knocking him down, I like it. Please be off. Of course not. Oh, Max Aaron's getting in the way. Beautiful, Max. Oh, yes! Emmy! No! Octavio! No! Oh, yeah, there there it is. Nabry, get in front of it! Yes! You've got to be kidding me, dude. Like, we're getting into the right spot. It's just maybe a touch that's gone astray or something. Tim Cruel! You absolute legend! Yes, when Dia makes a good run. He leaves him stranded, and then he gets and scores! Let's go, Emmy! Oh, that was beautiful. I sent him the wrong way, acted like I was gonna pass. Nah, Emmy from that position, guaranteed goal. Come on now. <laughs> okay. I'm doing all of this great work here, and then it gets undone because of that. He doesn't have great. Oh. My god. And now he's probably gonna go team press, constant press, press after possession loss, something of the sort. Again, more overpowered mechanics that uh, only the scumbums use. Oh, send him. Send him. Team who's through. Team who's through. To Buendia. To Buendia. Yeah, it's, it's Varon. Oh my god. This is total. This is total football. This is total football. This is total. F god damn it. You've got to be kidding me. God. There it is. Good, Timu. Oh, he's he's so through. 
He's so through. Let's go. Let's go. Timu. Beautiful Timu. Let's go. Beautiful pass. Way to bring it down. Way to assist. I think every every single Norwich City boy has done something good in this game so far. No. <laughs> Give me a break. Through ball. Of course. It's like I know what he's going to do because he's not a good player. Are you... Psst, no! There's... Thank you, t Like, do you, do you see this? Buendia! <laughs> Clearly, I'm just getting helped by my gamer juice. Real quick, I do want to point out, Buendia's stamina at Cam, not horrible. It's 57. We had to take out Nabry, who's playing the wing, and same thing for Octavio, who's playing the wing. And again... It's, he's still able to play, but if it was in a different position, he may not be able to. 3-2 win against, like I predicted, a little bit of a scumbum doing all of the overpowered shit that he could. But just like that, we end up winning the game. So Marco Royce does end up getting man of the match. However, every single Norwich City boy did something well, alright? Tim Krul had five saves. Max Aarons, three of three tackles, including a very vital block as well. Uh, Buendia got two goals. Pookie got an assist like it j and 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 he hit the woodwork twice as well so if he maybe he if he was a little bit more lucky then then honestly he probably could have gotten a goal or two next game another mendy veron and then of course there's neymar mbappe conte baby usabio actually no that's that's not baby usabio that's that's father usabio hooky oh my god yo so he only has 69 curve you can tell he has the finesse shot, though. Like, you, it's it's oh, it's very apparent. Oh God! Oh, he should have done it way sooner because he was open. But Max Aaron saves us there. Thank you, Buendia, 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 Buendia. I don't care because it's Veron. Buendia, Buendia. God damn it! Oh, good, Pookie. Let's go. Let's go. Up and over, Pookie, Buendia. Oh, you gotta be kidding! Oh, I got fouled. Okay, thank you. It's Pook. It's Pookie's time. <laughs> I probably should have expected that with Mendy, Veron, Conte, Mbappe, Neymar. I mean, it kind of. I should have expected that. It's one thing if someone's being like ultra mega toxic and then you know just like doing five at the back spamming and just being you know an utter like actual toxic person that's one thing i was literally just playing the game wasn't spamming any broken mechanics wasn't playing five at the back wasn't doing anything bad whatsoever and he's just like mm, nah quit okay next game el Shirare is at politano uh i believe that's lozano Kamavinga. he does have mbappe but the rest of the team is actually like different hopefully he's not a scumbum Ooh, Buendia goes into space. I like that. Pookie! No, okay. Okay. He has yet to get a goal, but every single one of his shots has just been on target or has been just threatening. Timu's kind of... Timu's kind of shifty. I ain't gonna lie. Timu's a little shifty. We're not fine. We're never fine. It's FIFA. We're never fine. Unless we have Delaney. Then, then we're fine. Oh, Buendia's open. Buendia's open! Let's go! Yo, Buendia's positioning, man. He is a smart player. He's always alert. He's always going. I'm loving him. Oh my god. And look at this. That's, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little scummy. But hell of a pass from Timu. Every, every every single thing that Timu touches, it turns into the post. Are you kidding me, man? That's It's Royce. He makes this, like, every single time. But he just wanted the goal. Royce, Royce wanted to assist him. That's why. He wanted to assist Pookie. Royce is a good teammate. <laughs> End of the first half, obviously dominating the game. Everyone's doing super well. Timu, so far, is man of the match because he has a goal and an assist. Buendia, as well, also has a goal. And we have Aarons, who's gotten uh, a tackle, which is great. Krul hasn't really had to do anything this game. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Max Aarons, help. Help. Yes. Thank you, Max. I love you. Oh, like, look at this. Timu can... He can ball, man. That's another interception for him. Unreal. Delaney's so good. Yep. 
Yep, I planned it. Planned it. Let's go. Let's go, Pookie. I think that was Buendia with the assist as well. The Norwich City boys linking up for another goal. My god, they kind of they kind of slap, man. Woo! Oh my god, Kara. Yeah, dude, look look how tired Buendia is. He's still he's still trucking. He's still going, but he's exhausted. Buendia, Pookie, Pookie, let's go. Another goal and another assist for the Norwich boys. Let's go. 5-0. Pookie with a hat trick. And I do believe that we had some other great players. Pookie again with the man of the match with three goals and an assist. Buendia had a goal and two assists. So really good there. Max Aarons, three of three tackles. Led the team in tackles yet again. Perfect with his tackles as well. Uh, Delaney made six. He made six. With Buendia making four, man. Like, it's, seriously. He has, he has the abilities to play defensively. No, I'm not going to say that was like the greatest opponent that I've ever played and I realized that. However, still, like, when you go into a game and you can see that your players are actually doing well, it doesn't matter if you win or lose that game, right? As long as you can kind of see the progress that they're making and the ability that they have, these guys have that ability. Again, I'm not saying that they're going to be, you know, better than Team of the Year Ronaldo or Prime Moments Ronaldinho or anything, but they have ability and at le they're at least worth a try. So at the end of the few games here, we had Buendia getting three goals, two assists. We had Puki also getting three goals, two assists. Obviously, no goals or assists for uh, Cruel or Aarons. However, they did play a major role in that first game, getting some tackles, getting some very good saves. Literally, every single Norwich City boy actually did something very, very well, and they all have at least some argument to actually playing for you goalkeeper wise it doesn't really matter who you use as long as they're good for you because people are still using 82 pope so you know the ratings are completely irrelevant it's just about links and so if you can get cruel he's an 86 rated keeper he's 17k might as well keep might as well get him max aarons i can understand why he's 130k he's incredibly good at playing at that spot and he did play a center back for us when it was a three at the back and obviously there because he's fast that's that's genuinely it because he's fast he also makes for a good center back pookie with three goals and two assists like i said when we did play three at the back it was actually a three five two and so he would be linking up with buendia at cam and royce at the other striker spot and because of that because he was surrounded by you know two other really really solid players that meant that pookie himself was actually going to be quite good right he had other people to kind of pick up some of his you know lesser abilities maybe not being the best on the ball even though he actually did feel pretty decent you know the fact he only has three star skills three star weak foot but he his his movement his positioning the high medium work rates like genuinely you have ivan tony and you have clark harris who have arguably better stats than pookie here but because pookie has high medium work rates at least in my opinion i think he's better because he actually positions himself in such a way and he also has 99 attack positioning and then for buendia i mean stats wise you look at this card and he's fantastic i think the only reason people are a little turned off by him is because he has a stocky body type for one and then he doesn't really have good stamina now the stamina and the stocky body type i can actually understand why people would be turned off by him however his dribbling felt good he actually felt somewhat usable on the ball believe it or not and then stamina wise again that's understandable but if you put him in a spot where he's not gonna be running around a lot like center attacking mid he should be fine all game so that is gonna do it for this review guys hopefully you did enjoy it again honestly these norwich boys very fun a lot of fun to play with buendia is a little bit more expensive than i would like because he sent like 350 or so however pookie aaron's cruel all very reasonably uh, priced all very good cards as well but like i said that is gonna do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching this has been dmg Peace.